You about ready? Five, four. All right, Tyler, this is uh, this is interesting. We are here with some more St. Luke's representatives. Word got out. Word got out that we were letting the St. Luke's people call in. Yeah, we, we had <laughs> we had one on, and then we got all these phone calls. I, you know, we have Mr. Wellness here, which I have to admit, you know, no offense, I'm a little excited about. Um, but I want to make sure that both of you guys can introduce yourselves, so we can. And we're here today to kind of talk some best practices and ways to keep ourselves oh uh, safe. So. Could, do you mind introducing yourselves? Steve, go ahead. Uh, so my name is Steve Andrews. I'm the Senior Network Director for Editorial Services at St. Luke's. Go. And that just means I write a lot of stuff. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm uh, Jeff Hartney, otherwise known as Mr. Wellness. Can we, what can is, we, do we uh, dive into Mr. What? It's a very <laughs> vague title. You know, well, like I'm just Steve, not that. Steve had this like, like a long title and there you can, Mr. <laughs> Wellness, this, you know, it's very vague. I'm just not that uh, creative of a person. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, obviously, Mr. Wellness, I have a, a show called Wellness 101. We partnered with uh, St. Luke's where we uh, release a new episode every two weeks now. As of recently, we've been doing it every week, uh, trying to get some information out there about the coronavirus, but normally we do uh, every two weeks on uh, some lighthearted, fun stuff about health and wellness. Okay. All right. I think it's fun that, what is the thing, I don't know the medical term, I know what a stethoscope is, what is this thing on your head that keeps going, it's invisible and then it's not invisible. I'm yeah, really I know, um, this green screen is worse than what I do, so um, I don't know exactly the technical term, I, I just call it a doctor's mirror, and I actually have to turn it around, <laughs> oh. so that it is an actual mirror, but yeah. when I shoot on the green screen, it gets right. all tweaked out, so I just kind of flip it George, around. George, you are actually right, it's called a thing. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, it's it's just an interesting medical device that looks somewhat dangerous. I'm not sure. Well, no doctors use them anymore, so I just figured the dumber I look, the no. the better off we're going to be. Sure. And Steve, can you talk a little like what is St. Luke's you know doing in terms of getting the word out on trying to keep people safe? Wow, what aren't we doing? Um, you know, we're, we're producing a lot of messaging right now um, in, in all different mediums. Uh, social media is, is a tremendous vehicle for us. Um, and we're really focusing on basic things. You know, if we do the right things, um, we can make this pandemic last uh, or, or shorten a whole lot, you know, but we all have to do these things, social distancing, staying at home, um, you know, being careful if you do have to go out. Um, I mean, there's a there's hundred things that you can do to keep yourself and your family safe, make this pandemic disappear faster than it would otherwise. And what I think people, there's a, at least what, I, what I've seen in some news and talking to some people, social distancing is people it's not there's not a loose definition right like so this doesn't count as you and a couple of neighbors standing in the driveway six feet apart drinking a beer right that's social distancing is if you have to be out in the public stay apart but if you don't have to be don't see people stay that's home right. stay by yourself that's exactly it yeah and i i think yeah we saw like people we talked about this earlier like people were taking the six feet thing as like a joke when it's like no that's the minimum you want to be near anybody yeah. like and that's not like, <laughs> like i mean i'm not a doctor i'm not a scientist but this is, that's yeah, not like the minimum distance like a virus isn't going to be like well that's six feet away i can't go over there so it's like it's like this number that you, you can keep in mind but it should be it should be you know you should be just isolated as much as well, possible right and remember if you're moving six feet away from something you're moving six feet closer to something else right <laughs> you know <laughs> So, uh, so Jeff, with Wellness 101, you've been doing that at least for a while. I mean, a, a year or longer. I also have yep. to say yep. 101 is the highest college course I've made. So th <laughs> I'm, I'm a little intimidated. I didn't get to well, the 200 level. You and I both, actually, I think. <laughs> so uh, you've been doing – can you kind of describe – and I've, I've seen them. I've, we've shared out some. You know, they're kind of lighthearted ways to get people to, to – to, maybe take a second look at something like take or 
I, I, maybe that's not the best way to put it, but you describe it better than me. Well, so basically, healthcare as a whole can be a little sterile and scary. So we wanted to come up with a different way of bringing useful information across, but in a lighthearted and fun way. So this kind of wellness one-on-one idea, that's how it kind of came about. So we, we're not making fun of people, and I want to specify that. If anything, I'm making fun of myself and my character that I, that I play. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's more or less taking very important information, and um, I call it infotainment. So you're getting information that you need, but in a, in a fun and engaging way. Right. I'm, and, and I'm quickly. somebody, I, I have my anxiety, I, I have a hard time with doctors and hospitals and anything. I have, I'm a hypochondriac. Let's just be, so any way that the information can be repackaged in a more uh, less intimidating way is super helpful to me. And it makes things seem less daunting, you know, and more, uh, you know, that you can, you can attack, you can, you can do it right. As if it's. Well, like some of the videos I've seen, you put things in perspective a little bit. Yeah, sure. You know, it's it's nice to see things visually. Um, I was thinking too, because obviously you guys are not, well, I'm not sure about Steve, but Jeff, you're not in the office. And how, how was Jeff's in a classroom right now? Oh yeah. I'm sorry. (laughs) Clearly. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, What was the, the craziness involved with, I mean, you guys are now working remotely, uh, but communication, you said, what aren't we doing to get the word out? It still has to be incredibly difficult to communicate and get all this stuff out in a timely fashion. What was that sort of process like in the last two weeks or so? So, Quite and don't I don't mean to jump on your toes here, Steve, but quite honestly, it hasn't really changed that much for me. I I work out of the house anyway. I've got a I built a studio in the home. The toughest part, honestly, has been having the kids at home and trying to record audio and things like that. So basically, I, I've kind of worked it out where once the kids go to sleep, I'm down here in the studio cranking out anything that has to do with audio then during the day it doesn't really matter they actually like to watch you know the show kind of unfold so they sometimes they help me out but you know anything that with speaking stuff has to be done at night which has been a bit of a challenge he's a warrior he puts in way way more time he he really he goes for it it's it's incredible to see thank you my man also you know there's a lot of information being you know, thrown at us from all types of, uh, you know, the news every, everywhere. So how are, how are you guys sifting through what we should hear and what we, you know, isn't ne- necessarily helpful for the public to hear? Or h- how do you determine what information to repackage or w- what's going to get thrown out to us? We have some incredible physicians um, here, Dr. Sarah Massetti, and uh, uh, Dr. Jeffrey Jari, they're our infectious disease specialists. So we get a lot of information from them. They're the ones that are leading the clinicians on the front line of all this in the hospital and in the outpatient setting. So we get a lot of stuff from them. Um, and then the CDC and the WHO are, are really the sources of information for this right now. So anything that they put out, you could pretty much count on. Uh, we'll take that information and we'll kind of uh, synthesize it into that, you know, more humorous, uh, mm-hmm. lighthearted product that you see uh, uh, every every other week. Is there thing like for the people out, you know, wanting information? Is there certain inf- places they shouldn't go, or there is there maybe things that you would warn people to be wary of? There's a lot of sensational. <laughs> Every, you know, yeah. there's stories most are being sensationalized. <laughs> yeah, most of the yeah. internet, right? <laughs> well, yeah, so, wouldn't it be like, hey, the sources you just named, like, go to them that, and that's nowhere it. else. That's yeah. it. Don't drink bleach. Don't eat the rocks <laughs> out of your fish tank, okay? None of that's going to work. Yeah. CDC and WHO, any respected hospital. The Lehigh Valley is so, super lucky to have two great hospital yeah. systems in it. Agreed. Those are your sources of info. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And and that's what gets scared. Like social media and all this technology has been insanely helpful. I mean, we've been able to do, this is like the 50th video. Um, 
And but on the flip side is it's also very easy to get disinformation out. And there are sadly there's people in the world who enjoy doing stuff like that. So that's why I think it's important, like you guys just said, go to the reputable sources and kind of forget the rest. Right. Mm -hmm. Good agree. Continue to um, wash your hands and stay home, right? That's that's basically what. Wash your, your hands. hands. Don't touch your face. Stay home, and that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, if everybody then, can adhere to those rules as we'd be much as way possible, better off. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think? Well, here's the question: Valley well, is doing a good job, though. Yeah. Um. I, I mean, if, from what we've seen, I would say yes. You know, we 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 track numbers every day. Um, and you know, they're still going up uh, as they are everywhere. Um, but I, but I think by and large, the Lehigh Valley is listening. Um, you know, we're very close to New York, which is a scary thing right now. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I think the, the people in the Valley, you know, you're, you're talking mostly blue collar, hardworking people, the, the kind of people that dig in and do what they need to do. And, uh, I think they're doing it. Awesome. And Mr. Wellness, I would ask, if you do have to go, I just had to make a run to Valley Farm to just get some necessities. You know, we had to restock. You know, I have a four-year-old. When you, for some people, it's not just feasible that they can stay in their house to April sure. 30th. So sure, when sure. you do have to go somewhere that is um, necessary, like a supermarket, what are some things that you can do to protect yourselves and maybe other people around you? I mean, honestly, I think it's just using common sense. Um, Try to avoid high traffic areas. I think um, even though most people are staying home, people tend to still stick to their normal routine. So like if you go grocery shopping on the weekend, maybe you want to think about avoiding that and maybe switch it up to a Monday or a Tuesday or, you know, go early in the morning or something like that. You want to try to avoid people at all costs. And I know, I know it's, difficult and we as human beings we naturally want to gravitate towards people but if we can just stay away from each other just for a little bit the curve is going to flatten and this is going to go away much much quicker mm -hmm. See, he goes outside dressed like mr wellness and nobody goes near him so he's good. <laughs> yeah well, dog People are just my one friend, the what's that thing on your head? What is that? <laughs> my one friend said he got a mask and he made it like as weird as possible so that people like w wouldn't want to talk to him. That's, hey, I, that's I, why I, I was suggesting we should just have my comedy shows happen everywhere, right? Because <laughs> nobody's ever <laughs> going to see those. <laughs> like I'm Tyler Ross Rogers. I'm trying to get my wife to make me one that looks like Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> my so wife I, and I, we made one out of a, a baby diaper the other day. Uh, that doesn't which, sound good. I don't like no, that. It, just, it, not a I'm huge sure it one. Works. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, it does work. Uh, I would caution. You do have to cut it. So yeah. I would caution, uh, like shake it out real good because all the yeah. absorbency stuff gets all up in your nose. And yeah, I won't. I won't be doing that. I mean, unless I have to. If it last to resort the... type stuff. You know. So, do, what are you guys um, like? Not plans here, but what is the 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 plan of attack? so to speak, going forward? Is it a day-to-day -day thing? Or, you know, do you wake up and say, hey, what more information do we have now we meet and, and go from there? So I think we have a, a pretty extensive list on topics that we want to cover. Um, like I said, normally we roll out every two weeks. We bumped it up to one a week. Um, if we need more than that, we'll, we'll do that. Right, Steve? Absolutely. Um, you know, there's, there's, millions of topics literally that we could cover everything from washing your hands to what to do if you get sick to how to take care of your kids i mean you name it we can we can cover it we have uh we're not we're not boxed into a certain time frame we can do minute long episodes or three minute long episodes uh, uh, and if, whatever we need to do and if people want to get information right now what is the the website again i know that we got it on earlier but the resource so, website for this it's sluhn.org slash covid19 okay all right well yeah, i have uh, one last question well tyler that? you go first you, you go 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 ahead well i just wanted to re re speak for me and you and a lot of people and i know you probably don't have direct contact with your your experts over there but you know we're appreciating them uh more than ever mm -hmm. and you know just maybe send a thank you from 
the people of the Lehigh Valley and Lehigh Valley with love that, you know, they're doing amazing stuff and, you know, they're basically, we, we, we you know, we, it, it doesn't go unnoticed and we know how hard they're working for us, you know? Yeah, we appreciate that. I mean, it's same, same goes for me to, to all the clinicians. They're incredible yeah. people. <clears throat> Um, you know, you think you have it tough if you're working 40, 50 hours a week, they're practically living there. Yeah. yeah. Right. Hey, I have one question though. Steve, do you ever, does anybody ask you like if you're Dr. Steven Andrews? Like Never. The, <laughs> no? <laughs> like the, the, the famous sports guy? Maybe I've watched too much ESPN. I don't know. That's He's a, a guy like a James in. Andrews. Oh, I thought it was Stephen Andrews. No, yeah, don't James worry, Andrews. come on, buddy. Like <laughs> I thought it was whatever. I haven't seen sports. You're, like, you're three sitting months. on that question the whole time, and look at you. <laughs> I thought I had it right. You know what? I'm not even editing this out. I'm going to keep it in. It's my fault. No, you better keep it. You keep <laughs> all my. Yeah, it's true. I owe you one. So again, thank you guys so much. We'll push it. Um, we'll make sure that we push out the website. We appreciate all the stuff that you're doing. Yeah, thanks to you to guys too. Thanks. To, I mean, you know, without the, the, the man or the people yeah, the message pushing out. The, getting the message out, it's hard for people to hear it. Right. So same goes, thank you guys for what you're for doing. You guys. You're yeah, pushing absolutely. it out. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, um, if there's anything else pops up in the next couple of weeks, you know, who knows how long we're going to be here. Maybe we'll check in again. So, right, sounds touch. good. Thanks thank guys. You guys. All right. Thank you guys. See, See you up. later, James. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>